watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen. We're recycling our plastic bags here at Woodgrove Center. This is only one of the many initiatives at Woodgrove Center. We'll find out how they are garnering international and national attention later on this edition of The Daily. Did you know that the city of Toronto actually just banned plastic bags entirely? That's a different story. Also coming up on The Daily today, Kevin Stobo is swinging around in some cloth. It's aerial yoga. We're going to check in with Jen Morenitz, who is introducing us to the value of organic seeds. And CBC's Stuart McLean of Vinyl Cafe fame will be featured on this edition of The, Day of the Daily. And Karen Elgersma is heading up to Telegraph Cove, Stubbs Island to be more precise, to take in a whale watching tour there. Before we get to any of that though, Annette Lucas heads to Cedar, where the people of that community have been working with the Regional District of Nanaimo to help them find a sense of place and identity that keeps intact their rural and natural setting. <laughs> high noon at the time of this videotape recording. You're watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4, and we just want to let everybody know that the public is invited and encouraged to attend an open house on June 19th at Cedar High School. That's to review the final report. And for more information on what's going on on Main Street in Cedar, you can visit www.rdn.bc.ca. We're going to throw things over now to Karen Elgersma. She's near Stubbs Island in Telegraph Cove for a whale watching tour. Voila, there you have it. All of the rain that we complain about all the time, because it should be summer now, shouldn't it? Middle of June, is being put to a really good use. What else do you use the water that's collected here we, for? We have hanging baskets and cedar trees at all the entrances. So that will also be, we have a special little buggy with a water container. We'll be taking that water and using it to water all of our flowers and plants. Okay. Now this is brand new, just a couple of weeks. Is it successful enough already that you're planning for more? What's in the future? Well, we, we have designed this to do an expansion. For example, we could put a second barrel right beside it. This has already been all built and designed to expand as we go along. Right. So yeah, I mean, the, it's uh, pretty well limitless as to how far we could go. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing it to us today. Thank you very much. A pleasure. We'll be back here at Woodgrove Center with a little bit more on the sustainability efforts being made on this edition of The Daily. In the meantime, we're throwing things over to Jen Moranitz, who is going to show us why planting organic seeds is not only better for the diet, but better for the pocketbook. And while you're at it, you might as well use rain harvested water to water those organic seeds. But first, we're going to throw things over to Jocelyn Matwee. Vinyl Cafe's Stuart McLean was in Nanaimo. She has a feature interview with him. You're watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen and we're hanging out in the back alleys beside Toys R Us, behind Toys R Us in the loading docks because we showed you earlier on this edition this brand new rain harvesting barrel that is located here. It's only been here for a couple of weeks, if that, and it collects more than 9,000 liters of water from the rooftop right here at Woodgrove Center. And Mark Fenwick is the general manager here. Is this pretty progressive for, for a shopping mall to do? It is. There's not too many out there that have done it, and we're really excited about it. It's the latest in a number of initiatives that we've done to improve sustainability and how we operate the center. Okay, now there was a contest, I've heard, that was put on by Ivanhoe Cambridge, who owns, runs, operates yes. Woodgrove. What was the challenge that was put out? Well, they put a challenge out to us, come up with some initiatives to improve sustainability. We'll give you up to $100,000. There was over 30 centers that entered across Canada and in Europe, and we won. Congratulations. Yeah, we're really excited about it. So you got the money? Yes. What, are you, what did you do with the money? What are you doing? Oh, we're it? spending it in many great ways. <laughs> this is one of them. Okay. So this initiative is a little over $25,000 to put this all together. It's 
kind of a Cadillac version of rainwater harvesting and it's going to be here for years and it's got the ability to be expanded when the time is right. Now some of the other initiatives um, are a little bit smaller yes. and a little bit more visible and functional for the customers. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So as I hinted to you before, on the inside of the building, we've changed most of the toilets, uh, over 70, to a low flow version. So we're saving water inside the centre as well and we estimate that it'll be over 4 million litres saved by one flush at a time inside. Wow. Yeah. And this is just a few of the steps that are being taken. I imagine this really is the way of the future. Yeah. Not yeah. only for people in their homes, but for public places, private public places yeah. like Woodgrove Centre. Our initiatives focused on water conservation, electricity con conservation, and waste reduction. Okay. So the way we recycle, everything that we do. Okay. Thank you very much and congratulations once again to Woodgrove Center and I know we're talking about sustainability and conservation but I just want to go shopping while we do that we're going to throw things over to Kevin Stobo he's getting all wrapped up in some aerial yoga Kevin Stobo, such a graceful man. Well, maybe not. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this edition of The Daily. We'd like to thank Woodgrove Centre for hosting us today. We're in Centre Court right now, and we're going to uh, throw in a penny. I'm going to make a wish. Whew. What did I wish for? Well, I've heard that if I tell you, it won't come true, but maybe to be able to walk other than like this might give you a little hint. Maybe what you're wishing for is for the person of your dreams to say yes. If you have a big proposal for marriage planned, Shaw TV is working right now on a national program called The Proposal, and you could be featured. All you need to do is email some details to The Proposal at Shaw.ca, and maybe what you'll be wishing for is a happy, happy marriage. Thanks for watching this edition of The Daily. We'll see you next time.